Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is an unboxing of a game I don't really know too much about. It's called Yukon Airways, and I picked it up at my friendly local game store. I had been sitting on a uh, gift card for quite a while and decided I wanted to uh, use it, and this was in the new release, and I had seen a uh, previous uh, review from Tom Vassell, who liked the game, but other than that, I didn't really know a lot about the game, but the art and the theme looked interesting. We played earlier during this pandemical Pan Am, which is probably one of my favorite games right now. So I do like the air-themed game. And it seems to have some sort of pickup and delivery mechanism. So it is 14 plus, 60 to 90 minutes, one to four players. And again, during this pandemical, uh, solo gaming has become uh, bigger for me than it ever has before. Traditionally, I don't like solo gaming because I like uh, gaming with people, other people. But during this pandemical, it's basically been me and little Shogunstein. And uh, sometimes, you know, he's doing his uh, mind blocks with the Legos. And uh, I got a solo game. So fortunately, uh, we've been having fun with the solo game of Parks. And having fun with the solo game of Camp Pine Top. And uh, this has a solo mode also. So again, that was something that I normally didn't look for. But in this pandemical, I have been. So Yukon Airways. So it comes with a rule book, which I started to, to look at, and it seems fairly uh, easy to follow. It seems like a pretty thorough rule book. There is, uh, looks like dice placement. I'm over here. Where are you placing me? I'm over here now. There seems to be uh, dice placement and uh, a pickup and delivery. And then you got these really cool, uh, like you're inside the airplane. Because, again, this is an airplane, seaplane-themed game up in the Yukon. And they explain the symbols. And then on the back here are the rules for the solo mode, which it says is similar to a uh, playing a two-player game. And here's the explanation of the objective cards. So we have another copy of the rulebook in uh, some other languages. So that's good. And we have a lot of cards. So again, this is some sort of uh, like come, come, kind of destination type cards. We got a lot of dice. You put yourself out there. So let's take a look at the colors they're using. Again, as a colorblind player, this is always a concern. So they have red and green. And at least the way it's packaged here, the red is here and the green is here. I'll have to see how... And it's pretty bright. There's a pink, a yellow, and a blue. Again, usually it's just me and Little Shogunstein or me solo. So hopefully, you know, the different colors won't be too big of an issue. But uh, at least the way that they're lined up here, I can clearly tell the, uh, the red from the green. We'll see what happens when uh, I put everything next to each other. That may uh, change. We have uh, some sort of player... Uh, markers or player tokens. We got some baggies. That's always good. So we got cubes. So there is something with the dice are basically like passengers. So like the red, I, I read a little bit. The red kind of represent the, the Mounties because this is in, in, in Canada. Uh, I forget who said the yellow represents... And who the blue, but I remember reading that the red kind of is like the, the mounties. And I believe what's going to happen is when you uh, pick up and deliver passengers, you get some kind of bonus if these cubes, if there's a cube on the destination that matches the passenger color. Because again, the dice are passengers. So we get some more bangs. So this is going to be for our dials because we have these really cool. Um, player boards where you're going to be uh, making the dials. So your fuel and uh, we got fuel and I'm not sure what these other things this is I guess the number of cards you can have in your hand. So and it's recessed too so it looks like the, the kind of the dashboard of a, of a plane. I don't know if dashboard is the right word to use in a for a plane but it looks certainly like the the plane controls and then there was some sort of personal story in the the beginning of the rule book 
about the, the author's father, I think, might have been a pilot in the Yukon Airways, and, and his mother was like a nurse who was a con- or a doctor that was like a passenger. And that's how they, they met. So there's a personal uh, aspect of the game. So you got these cool meeples that are shaped like airplanes. Cool. So these are meeples. We are big fans of Pan Am, and that came with like plastic airplanes. So these are uh, like wooden meeples. And then we have a board with, they're going to be our, I guess, our destinations. And we got a lot of uh, cardboard to punch here that looks like it represents money. So let's, let's take a look here. Artwork is really nice. Really nice picture. Those are the ones, the twos, the fives. More money. And again, I think these are the dials for our uh, plane controls. And let's take a look at this board. Again, I really don't know a lot about this game. I've been sitting on that gift card for a while. And they're finally starting to get some stock back, you know, under the pandemical and, and some of the supply chain issues from getting games from probably made in, in China or in other countries that are uh, further away and might have been affected by COVID. They're finally starting to get some, some games in, and I've been sitting on that gift card for a while, so decided uh, this game looked interesting enough. And again, I do like pickup and delivery, like that little uh, Heartland uh, trucking company game. And again, we do like Pan Am. So you see these different... Uh, destinations so those cubes are going to go here and then here are the different passenger gates and again the dice represent uh, the passengers and the game is played over six rounds we don't play on monday i'm not sure uh if that's some sort of historical thing that the fights didn't go on monday but you're flying tuesday through sunday so very nice uh colorful uh board here let's just take a look at the back of the box so again, they're showing you the, the passengers in the gate, showing you the, the rounds, showing you the player boards, showing you the, the destinations with the, the cubes, and a little bit about the setting. Summer of 79. Is that a Brian Adams song? Summer of 79. In the summer of 1979, I would have been... Uh, <coughs> So, again, 14 plus, because they're small pieces, 60 to 90 minutes, one to four players. So, I really don't know a lot about this game. It looked nice. Uh, again, I was just sitting on that gift card for a while and uh, wanted to spend it. And uh, we're going to try this out. So, this is a look at Yukon Airways. And uh, we'll let you know what we think. This has just been a look at an unboxing. This is the Shogunstein out. Happy New Year, everyone.